I do really enjoy um, looking at the data and understanding it, but I think as a group, there's a fine balance with it. Um, obviously, we all wear GPSs, Connor, I presume you wear GPSs as well, stats for it, um, it's what we use. And based on my position, um, I'm a centre back and like, I know that if I read too much into the data and like the high speed meters or the sprint distance, distances, like I kind of do my head in because they're actually not that reflective of, of how I've played because it's more of a kind of mental game and a positioning game that I play. Um, but then when I look at touches and things like that, that's actually a key indicator of my game. But if you're a, if you're a forward, how many sprints you've done is a key indicator. So um, I think it is different for different people and you have to be able to interpret the data to, to kind of help you perform better. Yeah, I, I do like data. I, I think it's important. Um, personally, it's a personal thing and I have probably this year placed less emphasis on team data. Um, in previous years, my like some distance covered and sprint distance, etc., would have been a lot higher and wasn't performing as well because there's such a focus on that. So you sort of realize too, it's not the be all end all, and game based data is probably more important. And as Lena alluded to, it's very much an individual thing or position specific. What I would be expected to cover is very different than somebody in the full back lane or full forward lane because. Part of my role is to get up and down the pitch. So that comes into the sort of game specific data. If uh, if my key performance things, my performance indicators are based around possessions and things, I'm not concerned about scores. It's it's not the biggest facet to my game. So I suppose you have to take each person individually. It's great to be able to look back on a session and see where my heart rate was, what my max heart rate was throughout the, the session, you know, and then it kind of gives you a summary, like you spent 80 to 90% um, of the time of this session within your, your max heart rate or within a, a specific or specific kind of heart rate range. And so it's really good to see because it tells you then whether or not you're building aerobic capacity or whether you'll find it more difficult to recover. So I've definitely found that really useful and it literally breaks down the session into like granular level detail of like minute by minute heart rate monitor monitoring. So um, I found it hugely beneficial. And, you know, maybe if you weren't pushing yourself enough in a session, you can look back and you're held accountable. Like all the data is there. So you get to see, for example, you need to pull your socks up here for the next day because that wasn't good enough for, you know, so it really holds you accountable. And there's definitely huge emphasis placed on data these days. And there's nowhere to hide when you're wearing the hoop either. Um, and I suppose it's just for yourself, you know, the, the man in the mirror quote, I know that Connor Myler uses that quite a bit. Um, so when you're looking at it and it's there in front of you and you know, maybe it is good enough or maybe it's not, you know, you're not fooling anyone when you have that data available to you. In Gaelic football terms, right, if you, you you can hit a certain amount of high speed distance, you can you can hit a certain sprint speed in a, in a, in a half of football, but um, like you might have three possessions in a game you might have you might have you might score a hat trick and you might cover 6k in total in the game so it's important not to hide behind it it's still it's still football at the end of the day you're trying to you're trying to win games um so i think it's very important not to hide behind the data um and i suppose that's that's potentially a gripe i would have had over, with with football in the last few years where we've probably become very data driven but the skills of the game can be forgotten definitely i think there's a there's a real a real balance that you need to get between being obsessed with the data and then how do you how do you feel yourself um i, I like it i'm kind of ocd like that i do like looking at it and, and knowing that i've i've had a had a good week i've had a you know like a, a few well, i've had one or two fully green weeks of recovery and it's it's nice it's a nice feeling but then it's, it's also like you have to be realistic and and look at yourself and i think one of my uh, one of our SNC coaches in, in Ireland who I, I used to play rugby with as well underage he um, was big into his group and still is but he uh, had a routine of waking up in the morning and writing that, not, not looking at his phone and writing down how he felt how he felt he slept how he felt his recovery was like just based on what he had done and um, I found that really interesting because I, uh, like I've, I've tried to get a few of my mates onto, onto Whoop as well and they, they're kind of worried like a few athletes and they were worried they'd be two birds out by the data 
So it's, it, you know, I've, I got a few of them turned turned around and, and told them not to be too worried about it. But um, for me, I, I do I like seeing it. I like looking at it, and I like the I like the challenge of it, the kind of fitting it into your training week. Um, you know, Katie plays uh, like two or three games a week, and it could be a bit different. Whereas I'd have like six days of I can focus on pure training, pure recovery, and you know, and, and build up to that one game at, at the end of that week and and go again. So yeah, I, li- I like looking at it. I like um, you know, it's, it's it's very accurate, obviously. So if you if you do well on that, there's a good chance you're going to feel good and, and be ready. I've got a group, an Ireland group, and then I've got a little Arsenal group as well. So it's nice. It's a bit of competitiveness then. Um, you see if someone's been out, uh, having a having a drink or so the night before. <laughs> because they're in the red zone but uh no look for me i think like again similar to connor i'm obviously not i don't fixate myself on all the data but i think it's a really really good gauge um especially for obviously my recovery and sleep purposes as well um it is one of those when you're in the green zone for a few days it's a pat on the back isn't it um of, like you're doing well so mm. um <laughs> for me, like i'm up and down right now i'm like i'm in the green and then obviously after a game um recovering so I'd be, yeah, I'd be in the 50s, sometimes red zone, uh, depending on how long mm. I've played there, what type of game it was. But yeah, I think it's it's a really important one for me personally, um, because I, yeah, um, I like to just see that I'm, I'm doing um, a good job um, in terms of obviously nutrition and recovery. But yeah, a few of the girls, um, uh, yeah, I've got a few of the girls on board as well with it. So um, yeah, it does that bring that competitiveness as well. It's quite important for rowing because um, it's like we call it a, a strength endurance sport. So like it's a two kilometer race, which is kind of like middle distance, I guess you'd say. So you have to be aerobically fit because it's, you know, it's about seven minutes long. So it's not a flat out sprint, but um, you have to have like a good bit of power as well. So um, you're kind of just trying to hit like all the different things of, I guess I know what you what you call it being an athlete. Like um, we have to be really strong to get to get out the blocks quick and have that sprint speed at the end. But then it's like a real grind in the middle. So we're um, we kind of target uh, each area at different times of the year, I guess. So during the winter, it it'd be all um, you know low intensity volume, and that'll all be tracked with um, heart rate. So, um, like before Whoop, I just uh, I just be kind of putting it into a little Excel spreadsheet or something each week. Um, but it's good now to have it all in one place, and you can kind of go back and look over it and compare yourself to where you were like a previous year as well. So, kind of see how things are improving, uh, like what where you need to work a bit harder and stuff. Like Amy was saying. Um, you know, it's nice to see the little, the graphs during the interval sessions as well, with the heart rate going up and down, um, just to make sure you're, you're keeping honest, you know.